Hey boys and girls, today for our read aloud, we're gonna be reading Get Out of Bed. And this is by Robert Munch. And he was a very famous author. I wonder if there's a picture of him in the back. No, there's not. But he was the author of Love You Forever, which is a book I'm sure all of us have read. You know, the I love you forever, I like you for always, blah, 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 blah. You know the book. So he also wrote this one. He actually wrote a ton of books. So I'm really excited to share this one with you. And this one is called Get Out of Bed. And it's illustrated by Alan and Leah Daniel. So two people illustrated it. Interesting. Oh, it was on the back the whole time. There he is. In the middle of the night, when everyone else was asleep, Amy went downstairs. She watched The Late Show, The Late Late Show, The Late 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 Show, The Early 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 Show, and finally went to bed because she was feeling somewhat tired. The next morning, everyone came to bre the breakfast table, except Amy. Where is Amy? said her father. Where is Amy? said her brother. Amy is asleep, said her mother. I've called her five times and she's still asleep. What are we going to do? No problem, said her brother. I can get her up. Amy's brother ran up the stairs and yelled as loudly as he could, Amy! Amy snored. Be late for school, he said. See if I care. And he ran back downstairs. Well, I know what to do, said Amy's father. He walked up the stairs and said in his sternest father voice, Amy, if you don't get out of the bed this instant, I'm going to be very mad. Amy snored. He went back downstairs and told Amy's mother, your daughter will not get up. Well, I have something that sometimes works, she said. She ran up the stairs, stood Amy on her feet and very nicely said, Amy, please wake up. Amy fell over and went to sleep on the floor. Her mother ran back downstairs and said, I can't get her up. I can't get her up. I bet that's so, some of your parents say when they can't wake you up for school. Oh, no, said her father. I have to go to work. Oh, no, said her brother. I have to go to school. I have to go to work, too, said her mother. But what are we going to do with Amy? Let's take her to school in her bed, said her brother. Amy's mother and father looked at each other and said, good idea. Oh, goodness. So they put Amy back in her bed and picked it up. Then they walked out the front door, down the street, around the corner, and into the school. They put the bed down in the back of the classroom and left. I don't know what I would do if someone brought you to school in your bed. I'd be like... Later that day, the principal came in and said, What is going on here? I don't know, said the teacher. It's Amy. She will not get out of bed. No problem, said the principal. She walked over and yelled at Amy as loud as she could. Wake up! Amy snored. I give up, said the principal. So the teacher taught reading, and Amy didn't wake up. The teacher taught arithmetic, and Amy didn't wake up. Arithmetic is a fancy word for math. They went to gym, and Amy didn't wake up. They went out for recess, and Amy didn't wake up. They had lunch, and Amy didn't wake up. They had art, and Amy still didn't wake up. And I love how the illustrators have put her, like, asleep on the balance beam. She's asleep while playing baseball at the lunch table and art are painting on her. That's so funny. Finally, it was time to go home. Call the mother. Call the father. Yell the principal. Get this kid out of here. So Amy's mother came from work, and her father came from work, and her brother came from school. They picked up Amy's bed, carried it home, and all had dinner. Except Amy. Amy was asleep. If she never gets up, said her brother, can I have her room? What a brother thing to say. I bet that's what my brother would say if I didn't wake up. But the next morning, Amy did get up. She ran downstairs and said, oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in years. Did you have a nice sleep? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams. Then her mother went to work and her father went to work and Amy and her brother went to school. At the door of the school, the principal said, Good morning, Amy. How are you today? Oh, wonderful, said Amy. But I had strange dreams last night. I bet, said the principal. Then Amy walked into her classroom, and everyone snored. Oh, my goodness. That teacher does not look happy. And then 
there's her and her brother and all her pets. How sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed Get Out of Bed. And I will see you in the next read aloud. Bye, guys.